Hey, super readers. How are you today? I'm so glad to see you again. Now, friends, we are going to be looking at an alphabet chart. You already have this alphabet chart. We provided it to you in that little baggie the first week of kindergarten. We had that beautiful parade where we gave you your shirt and your chalk. And if you don't have it, that's okay, because guess what? I'm gonna show it to you right here. But if you do have it at home, take it out. You can pause me and then start me again when you have it, okay? Friends, if you're ready to go, let's start. Now, I have the alphabet chart right here next to me. And we've been using this in our writing workshop to help us write more words and labels and sounds and letters. And we've been using in our reader's workshop too, especially when we do independent reading, to remind us what sound a letter makes. This way, when we run into any trouble, we can activate that picture power. That's right. So let's do a practice. And every time that Ms. Orozco circles or highlights a, a letter, I want you to say the letter and the sound it makes. Ready? Let's start with the letter A. A. What sound does it make? That's right. Ah. Now let's start with this one. What letter is that? C. What sound does that make? K -k. And let's go with this one now. That's right. That's M. And what sound does M make? Mmm. Just like the sound our tummy makes when we have good food. Okay, a few more. Ready? What about that one? That's the L. What sound does that make? Ooh. Good job. What about this one? P. And what sound does a P make? P, P, P. Great job. All right, last but certainly not least, let's go to this one. That's the S. What sound does the S make? S just like my name, Susana. Good job. My goodness, we have some alphabet, letter, and sound experts in this class. And that's great news because you need to know all these letters and all these sounds as a super reader. This way, friends, when you get stuck, you can use your powers. And remember that these are here to help us strengthen those superpowers. And so today, what we're gonna learn together is that sometimes our pointer power and our picture power, ooh, sometimes that's not enough when we run into trouble with our words. We have another superpower called sound power. Can you say that with me? Sound power. You can actually activate this power by looking at that first letter in the word that's giving you trouble and remembering about our alphabet chart, the one we just practiced, and figuring out what is the first first letter of that word, remembering the sound, and then with your picture power, putting it together to remember the word. Putting it together to read that word. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take this book in the garden, and we've been reading this book a lot. I love this book because it tells us about all the beautiful things we can find in the garden. And so I'm gonna turn to one of the pages that we already read. Look at the, hmm, friends, if I didn't already read this book, I would look at this and say, oh, that's a cockroach or a tick or I don't know, that looks like some kind of water bug, right? But friends, when I run into this kind of trouble, I already know that I'm gonna activate my picture power looking at the picture, and we're gonna activate that sound power. So we're gonna go to the word that is giving me the trouble because I know, look at the, those are our snap words, and it's telling me to look here. So look at the, hmm, let's activate sound power. Friends, what is the first letter of that word? You're right, it's a B. Can you tell me what sound the B makes? Right again, B, B. So if this word starts with the B, B sound, can this be cockroach? Nah, can this be 
Alligator? No, that doesn't even match my picture, so I'm not really using my picture power if I do that. What about <gasps> beetle? Does that match? Look at the beetle. Oh, wow, those are good guesses, but guess what? The beetle was the right one because the beetle has the b, b sound, and here I see the b, which makes that same sound. I'm so proud of you, friends. Now, let's go to a page we have not seen and try to activate this power together. Ready? Okay. Ooh, look at this one. <gasps> mm. Okay, I'm gonna read the words that we already know, which are our snap words. Look at the, uh-oh. Ms. Orozco doesn't know that word. So we're gonna activate picture power first. Activating picture power. What do you see? Can you tell me what you see? Uh-huh. Okay, those are all good guesses. Snake, eel, worm. Okay. Now, because I want to make sure that I get the correct one, we're going to look at that word and we're going to look at that first letter. We're going to look at the first letter of that word to figure out what letter it is and what sound it makes. Ready? Look at the... What's, what letter is that, friends? W. And so what W, what sound does W make? Correct. Wah, wah. So let's put our picture power together and our sound power together. Look at the wah, wah, worm. That's right, it's a worm. You did great. So friends, remember, when you get stuck, on a word and the picture power that you activated is still not helping you enough, that's okay because we have sound power. And so you're gonna look at that word that's giving you trouble and you're gonna look at the first letter. Then we think about our alphabet chart and we think about, hmm, what sound does that letter make? Once we have the sound and the picture power, we're gonna be able to put the two together to figure out and read that word. So let's review all of the superpowers that we've been learning this week. So we have pointer power. That's right, we have pointer power. We need to make sure we tap each word. How many times? One time. We also have reread power. If I make an uh-oh, if I make a mistake, that's okay. We just take that pointer power, go back, rewind and we read it again because we want to be super readers not eh, it's okay readers right we have partner power so when you have the chance take somebody you love and ask them will you read with me will you be my super reader partner I'm pro i promise you they're gonna say yes and if you don't have one that's okay give me a call i'll be your partner and then we also have Picture power! That's when we look at the picture and we think first before we go to the words. Or when a word is giving us trouble, we look at the picture and that's gonna give us clues. And finally, we have snap word power. That's what we did yesterday. When we created that chart that has all of our snap words. And friends, a lot of the books that we read in kindergarten have a lot of these snap words, just like this book. Let's count how many snap words it has. One, two, three, three snap words on every page. That's a lot of super reading. So what you're gonna do today, friends, I put some I Spy pages here in Schoology. You don't have to print, you don't have to write anything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab somebody that loves you and you're gonna play the I Spy game. You don't know how to play that game? Let me show you. Miss Orozco, I spy something b b blue. It's my pen. So on these pages, you have a lot of different items and objects, and you're gonna want to tell your partner that you spy something that starts with a letter or a sound. For example, friends, I spy something that starts with a with an M or it makes an mmm sound. What is it? Hmm, pen? 
No. Apple? No. Marker! So you'll practice this with someone you love and you'll be playing the I Spy game. And guess what? You don't have to practice this with just the pages. You could do this anytime, anywhere with anyone. Bye, super readers. Have fun spying.